I got the world's smallest smartphone that can run Android 13. It was released last year, and I'm curious to know if it can game, so stay tuned if you want to find out. Now, I did not pay for this one, and I'm not getting paid to look at this one. All I did was send an email to Unihertz, and I said, hey, you should send me a phone to take a look at. And they said, okay, sure. Packaged in the box, I got a few things. One of those things was a SIM pin, along with a couple manuals and a screen protector. Right on, right on. A couple manuals for people like me who will never read. And then the phone itself. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It looks like a jelly bean, but I'm in love. I'll explain what these white lines are in a minute, but the entire back panel of this phone is transparent, almost like a prison electronics device. Kind of weird in my opinion, but I love it. And then the whole device is about three inches, and then it's a fat boy. Okay, no corners cut like Apple and Samsung, and they came with a charge block and a charge cable. Touche, touche, I like that. Enough talk, let's power this thing on and see what we're dealing with. I'll be honest, if it's like their last three mini smartphones, I'm gonna love this thing, but I guess we'll see shortly. And four hours of distraction set up and downloading GameCube, PSP, and Wii emulators later. And uh, we've got this thing set up, and I gotta tell you guys, this thing is this thing is freaking awesome. Now, don't worry, for most of this video, we're gonna see how the phone handles my version of gaming, so we're gonna get to that, but I, I just wanna show you guys around the phone real quick. It's got some really interesting features. So on this side, we've got this elongated button, and don't be deceived, it's actually a volume rocker, which is interesting for the four hours I've been playing with this phone. I like the feel of it. This side, we've got the speaker and microphone, and then on this side, we've got the charge port, the SIM port, the power button, and then that red key is a custom key, but right now it's actually on a flashlight function, which is interesting because we've got this function here, which is also a built-in flashlight for the smartphone. <laughs> I think it's like a, like a nothing phone concept kind of thing. Oh, but it plays to my ringtone. I could watch the lights play to my ringtone. Nice. <laughs> Okay, Unihurst, I'm gonna be honest. I, I like you guys because you try interesting things. I love the mini smartphone concept. I don't understand the lights, but I'll leave them on because they're different. Uh, yeah. Cool. And before we test this phone for gaming, I want to show you guys the chipset, which is a Helio MediaTek G99. Good job, Unihertz, not bad! And the phone has 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. Not bad! It's actually pretty cool. Also, it's running Android 13. Now, as for the gaming capabilities of the device, you guys are really gonna like this next portion of the video, so stay tuned. Now, as you can see, the phone can obviously run Geometry Dash, but in most of my videos, I'm trying all of the regular apps applications, and for this video, I didn't want to stick to the regular applications. I wanted to go the emulation route. So we're going to see how this thing could run PSP, GameCube, and Wii, but, but first I want to see how this thing could run Call of Duty. And I connected my Xbox wireless controller for that, and I was rather impressed. Now, about a year ago, I was streaming on TikTok Live and playing Call of Duty Mobile, and a bunch of strangers added me as friends, and I accepted those friend requests. And when I jumped on Call of Duty with this mini smartphone, Phone, some of those people from those TikTok live days about a year ago invited me to a matchup, so I joined. And, uh, this is how it went. The phone runs Call of Duty great, but holy crap, I suck at Call of Duty. I'm sorry, guys. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is bad. 
Oh gosh, bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I let you guys down on my mini phone. Okay, while I suck at Call of Duty, we're just going to close these tabs and act like this never happened. I died. I tried launching PUBG, but it was stuck in a loading screen for about 20 minutes, and I don't even like PUBG that much, so I just gave up and closed it out. But I'm sure it'd work anyway. So what was the next logical step? Well, that was to get my SD card with the games, and then I installed the emulators onto the Unihertz Jelly Star. And you guys will be glad to hear that the Jelly Star does have an expandable storage slot, so I just put the SD card there, and then put that back into the Jelly Star. Bada bing, bada boom, you guys know what I'm saying. We're ready to rock and roll. Now, what is GameCube without Metroid? I'll tell you what it is. It's nothing. So I know you guys are ecstatic to hear that Metroid works fantastic on the Dolphin GameCube emulator, specifically on the Jelly Star, because I know that all of you are going to be emulating GameCube with this mini smartphone. Now, I don't have an answer for this. I'm sure someone can comment below, but I'm curious to know if I can configure an Xbox wireless controller to the Dolphin emulator application. It's gotta be an option. I assume it would, but comment below if you know the answer. GameCube emulation runs like a charm on this thing, though. You know what else you could emulate really well on this thing? PlayStation Portable. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Just because it makes so much sense to be emulating on a 3-inch screen. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, the soundtrack to ATV Off-Road Fury is so lit. I wish I could play it instead of this elevator music, but... YouTube copyright strikes pretty much everything, so you guys have to listen to this lame elevator music, but whatever. Oh, this is so good, and it runs so smooth. The only console I had growing up was the PlayStation Portable, and the PlayStation Vita, and the Nintendo 64, and I played so much of this ATV Off-Road Fury, I wish I had my magic touch still. And I'm also not playing on PlayStation controls, but it's enough, it's enough to finish a race, not competitively, but... But I'm a dangerous boy. Okay, that, that was creepy. I'm sorry, guys. What about Metal Slug? Who played Metal Slug? Metal Slug was good. That, that was a classic. This was another classic that I always had as backup on the PlayStation Portable. Don't get me wrong, I played, like, more WWE Smackdown than this, but you can't deny running around with a machine gun and a bunch of grenades and just blowing stuff up is not fun. It, it's classic. Like, it's such a good time, and I gotta say, I'm impressed that the Jelly Star can run essentially the PSP and GameCube perfectly. It's fantastic. I mean, does it make sense? I, I don't think so. Is it hilarious? abso freaking lootly and it's impressive. Who thinks it's impressive? Comment below or am I just going nuts over here? Now, next up is the Nintendo Wii. Why are we emulating the Nintendo Wii on the Jelly Star? Just because it makes pretty much zero sense and uh, it's hilarious to me. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. This is fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. So, fun fact, I've got a mini PC running Windows 11 with a Nintendo Wii emulator, and it cannot run Super Smash Bros. So, the fact that the Unihertz Jelly Star is at least doing this, I mean, this is a win in my book. Unihertz, this is... <laughs> this is good stuff. I mean... This is great. This is fantastic. Oh man, I need to configure this Xbox wireless controller to the Dolphin emulator for Wii, but uh, I don't want to do that right now. I gotta say, my favorite character on Super Smash Bros. has gotta be Donkey Kong. I'm having a good time. It sucks without the controller, but... Wait. Donkey Kong, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, no. No. No, don't want to do that. What's going on, Donkey Kong? Okay, seriously. Whoa. <laughs> brother! I mean, <laughs> it's probably why you shouldn't emulate with a 3-inch smartphone, especially without an external controller, but, uh, you know, this is all just for fun and games, right? You know what? We got some screenshots of Donkey Kong. Let's take some photos. Unihertz says the back camera of this thing is 48 megapixels. Let's go ahead and put it to the test and see how those photos look. 48 megapixels. That's, that's pretty impressive. Anyways, let's take a look at those photos. Here's the first one. This one wasn't able to focus in. But this one did right here, and it looks 
really good. Another weird photo because it only focused in on that joystick if you look close. And then here's the last photo. Again, it focused in on the joysticks, but I think that's a user error and not so much the phone. Maybe I could become better and start a photography business. I know this part of the video is really abrupt and not everyone's gonna see this, but if you're still here, I just wanna say something to you really quick. We just hit 300,000 subscribers last week and I wanted to look you guys in the eyes and say thank you so much for being a part of this. Sometimes in my life, I'm unsure where I belong. And here on YouTube, especially with this community and you guys, this channel has created a fantastic community and a fantastic creative outlet for me where I feel a place of belonging and I truly truly appreciate you guys and i'm excited for the things we have coming to this channel again i wanted to look you in the face and say thank you so much this is an exciting time and let's get back to the video actually that that's the end of the video i just wanted to say if you guys like videos like this be sure to subscribe because i release a video like this every single saturday morning and we'll see you next time. Also, I've included full information and specs in the description below on the Unihertz Jelly Star if you wanna take a look at that. I've also included other Amazon links. Just know if you purchase through those, I do make a small commission, but don't worry, it helps the John Zoid channel. So if you buy through those, I'd, I'd love the help. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.